assuming that you've sized them properly, I'm, like I said, sizing comes later this week. I just want you to look at the torque curves on any given motor, probably one that looks nicer, there we go. And you'll notice that we put a power curve on there, okay? This big curve right here, I deliberately had them add this in our catalog a few years back for the purpose of supplying power supplies the proper range, okay? That was a power that the motor consumed to get to that torque level, okay? That means if you choose this 23165D and you want to run it at 6,000 RPM and you want to run it at maximum continuous right there, then by gosh, you better get a 180 watt supply to run. At least that. Now, ironically, there's also an efficiency curve. The peak point on that curve is also the most efficient point to run this motor. Okay? It is the most efficient place to run that motor. If you buy this motor and you're running it down here, it's very low efficiency. If you're running it up here, it's very low efficiency. If you run it right here, it's a great place to run that motor. Okay? It's the most power output for the least power input. So when you size a power supply, look at the torque curves, look at where it's required, and make sure you get enough power to reach what you need. Now sometimes you'll see peak is above continuous. In this case, they about match. Somewhere down here, if you run a 24 volt curve, for example, you'll find out that they separate a little bit and they get really small. We're trying to, oh, shoot. Try to get over to here to one that's got a separate peak and continuous a little bit. There you go. There's one that has a slightly higher peak than continuous. So if we run peak power here, continuous power here, you always need to go for the peak. So you can't supply a power supply here. Now, if you have one of those power supplies that says inductive rated, or my power supply has 130% overload capacity, well, that's all fine and dandy. If this is 30%, you only have one motor. But if you have four or five motors, now you add that 30% up over multiple motors, and you're going to need a hell of a lot more power. Okay? So, in this case, it's 225 watts roughly peak, and at that same power, Continuous is 135, 140 watts. Okay, so you're you're almost you know what are you 42? You're looking at uh, 60, 70, 80 watts more depending on the motor, you know, and then multiply that by the number of motors you got. Okay, a switch mode power supply when you reach its peak, it crowbars out, it just it knocks offline and resets. An unregulated power supply, the voltage starts going down before it does that. Okay, so be sure you size that power supply accordingly. Um, Did you put uh, RMS for the peak? When you measured the current of the power going to your, were you just doing the watch? <coughs> the power, uh, the voltage times the RMS that you got out of the motor, or? These were actually the ones done by output torque power requirements. In other words, that's the power you're getting in the shaft. Okay? Oh, you did it on a dyno? Yeah. So yeah, which I think you're taking over that dino stuff then, aren't you? Somebody has this. Why do you think I'm asking questions? <laughs> so, okay, yeah. eventually what we're going to be doing is current testing going into the motor to find out what it consumes out of the power supply, which yeah. means it'll go up about 10% on those. But the reason we offer this is because mostly in Asia and some places in Europe, they advertise power supply, or excuse me, servos and wattage. But here's a little known fact. If you say you want a 200 watt Senyo Dinky motor, or a 200 watt LG, or Yaskawa or Yokogawa motor, you know what? What they don't tell you is that's a 3,000 RPM. They don't, you know, look at the right. Nine times out of 10, Asian market is probably around 3,000 RPM. Well, look at this. 3,000 RPM, I'm down below 180 watts. But at 4,000 to 5,000, I'm up at 225. Okay, that's the other reason we show those power curves. Because to tell me you've got a 200 watt servo, that doesn't mean squat. 200 watts where? 3,000 RPM, 6,000 RPM, or 50? I don't know. So just the wattage of the servo means nothing. That's like horsepower. Great, I got a you know, three horsepower motor on my table saw. Well, three horsepower 1875 or 3,600 RPM, which is it? runs twice the, uh, the true power of the shaft and the other. Okay? 
I mean, that's, you know, like a car. Well, great. A Corvette has a high horsepower engine, but a dump truck has more. Dump truck can't go as fast. It's all a gear ratio and how you apply it and what speed. So, you know, you, you really need speed in relation to that power. And then you need to understand what speed you're operating to get the right power supply. Okay?